Hello techies In this session we will learn how to work with create new data table variable action Before learning how to create a new data table we will learn why and when we need data table A data table variable represents data in a tabular form that has rows and columns We typically use the data table variable to perform any disconnected data access. If you observe in our previous sessions, we have used Excel and SQL as database. To perform all the actions with Excel and SQL, we need to be connected with Excel on databases in all the time. But over there in that cases, as an output we are going to get as a data table. But here, if you create a new data table variable action you don't want to be in connected mode it is a disconnected data access all right let me drag and drop this create new data table action onto the workspace now if you see this create new data table variable creates a data table that has rows and columns now if you see the parameters for the new data table as of now i am having zero rows and zero columns Now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a product data table let me click on edit and I'm going to give the column name over here as product name another one I'm going to give it as product code I'm going to add some more columns over here as price availability and description how can I go ahead and add it there you can see to add a new column i'm going to click on plus icon to add a new column and then i'm going to give it as price over here and then one more column i'm going to add it by clicking on plus icon and then i'm going to give it as availability and then finally i'm going to create one more column or adding one more column by clicking on plus icon and then i'm going to give it as description All right I have given all the columns over here by clicking on edit data table now these are the columns what I have now I want to add some products over here like I want to give the product name as Dell laptop another one I'm going to give it as code as 001 after that I will give the price over here as 25000 availability yes it is available and then description this is I will say laptop okay and then if you see if i want to add some more rows in that case i'm going to click on add new row over here i'm going to click on plus icon and then i'm going to add some more thing like realme mobiles i'm going to give the product code as 002 and then price i'm going to give it as 5000 is it available yes and i'm going to give the description as mobile and i'm going to add one more row over here by clicking and add row these are all the columns and rows i have added all right now this is edit data table i'm going to click on save now if you see over here in my new table i'm having three rows and five columns and the output whatever the data we have given it as it will be stored inside the variable called data table right i don't want to give it like this i'm going to give it as product data table and then i'm going to click on save now whatever the data you have given it will be stored inside my product data table by creating create new data table all right we will see that now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now the flow has executed successfully now if you see in my flow variable i'm having product data table let's double click on that Now if you see in my product data table I am having product name product code price availability and the description and whatever the rows we have added all the rows are available over here Now in our previous sessions from the we are going to read the data from the excel or we are going to read the data from the sql tables by using execute sql query and after that the data will be stored inside my data table as an output and from there we are going to do the manipulation such as filtering sorting and manipulating the data in the particular data table 
they are all called as connected right connected data access but over here if you observe i have created a new data table without connecting to any excel or any database like sql i have created a new data table and then i have added the columns and then i have added some more rows over here now let me click on close now i want to perform some actions over here such as writing the data to the excel okay in all our previous sessions once we have retrieved the data or reading the data from the excel and there we are going to write the data into the another excel by using data table row by row but here you can write the entire data table at a time to the excel how can we go ahead and do that as a first step i'm going to launch an excel let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace the parameters for the launch excel i'm having launch excel I'm going to select it as with blank document. In most of our scenarios, we have viewed open the following document, but right now I'm going to work with, with a blank document. Another parameter, make instance visible, I'm going to make it as false, and then I'm going to save it. Now, whatever the data we are having inside my data table, that is product data table, I need to write that into the Excel worksheet. How can I go ahead and write it? By using write to Excel worksheet action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters write to Excel worksheet, I'm having Excel instance, which I have got it from the launch Excel output flow variables. Another one value to write over here in our scenario, I need to write the data which came from the output of the create new data table. What is the output which we got it? That is product data table. Let me select that flow variable that is product data table. And then if you see write mode on specific cell that I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to give column one as column as one and row as one. All right. So it's the mean that I need to write the data from starting to end end by using data table. Let me click on save. Once the data has returned to the Excel worksheet, I need to save the document as well as I need to, I need to close the Excel. How can I go ahead and do that? I will use close Excel to perform these actions. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters for the close Excel, I'm having Excel instance, that is Excel instance. Now, before closing an Excel, you, have, you will find some options over here. That is, one is save document, another one don't save the document, another one save document as. Right now, I'm going to select save document. And then I'm going to click on save. Before clicking on save, you may ask, I'm not giving any path over here to save the document. In that case, what will happen? It will store on your local documents folder. Now, I will show you that. In my local computer, I'm having documents. In this place, there you can see I don't have any files over there. In that case, what it will do, it will create the file name as book1.xlsx file. It's a default one which it will get it. All right. Now, let me click on save. Now, once again, if you see, I'm going to create product data table by using create new data table action. And then I'm going to write the data into the Excel worksheet by using launch Excel, write to Excel worksheet. And then I'm going to close the Excel by using close Excel action. All right, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And if you see, by using create new data table, it's created product data table as a flow variable. And after that, it is trying to launch an Excel by using launch Excel, and then it is going to write the data into the Excel by using write to Excel worksheet. Once it has been done, you can see over here, book1.xl has, has created successfully and the data has been saved successfully inside the book one. Let me double click on that one. Now, to make you understand, I have kept data table as well as the output Excel side by side. In my data table, I'm having five columns, that is product name, product code, price, availability, and description. And if you see, I'm having three rows over here. One is related to the product 
code 001 that is Dell laptop and then one is price 25,000 availability yes and laptop right and if you observe the rows are same over here and the product code also is same because of in the Excel we are going to get it as 001 so here that it has been removed 00 and then it has given the product as 1, 2, 3. And after that, you got the price, you got the availability and the description. The entire data table has been written successfully by using Write to Excel worksheet action. I hope you understand how to work with create new data table variable action as part of this tutorial.